John is back in the kitchen and these look so good. Well, as you know, it's the Eurovision Song Contest I this know. weekend. I we're, know. we're big fans in the Lorraine kitchen. I love it. And it's love, in love Stockholm. It. So in honour of that, I've done a, a cinnamon bun Chelsea bun hybrid. <gasps> So can I'm going to crack on and make them while oh. you eat that because we don't have much time at the end often. So oh, right. what I'm going to do oh, is tell you about warm. the uh, the gorgeous. I'm going to tell you about the um, the actual dough itself. It's just made with all these ingredients here. So it's the mm -hmm. flour, the salt, sugar, yeast, mm -hmm. um, milk, egg and the butter. And all you need to do is bring that together into a so dough. Good. Aren't they cinnamony? Aren't they heavenly? So and once you've done that, you just need to knead that right. until it comes to a really smooth, supple mm -hmm. dough. And once it does, then you've got that nugget there mm. to test it's ready. Mm. Get that nugget and just dip that into some flour. And this is how to test if the dough is actually ready. Okay. It's just stretch it very, very gently in plenty of flour. This is called the window pane test. The and once you achieve test. that window okay. pane, that lovely window pane, mm. the dough doesn't break, you know that the dough is ready to use. Mm. So always knead your dough until it gets to that stage. Mm. Okay. And once mm. it's got to that stage, cover it with cling film, leave it to prove for about an hour, just until it's doubled in size. So you can see this that one. That is magic. It's huge. It's that's magic. The yeast. The yeast. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Eurovision Song Contest magic. I can't stop eating dough. this, I'm sorry. Don't be so, that's, I wouldn't, well, I want you to eat it. John, it's the best I thing ever. I was slaving over a hot oven this morning at mm. five o'clock, so I want you to eat it. It's yum. Once you've risen your dough, <gasps> just tip it out onto a counter and plenty of flour like that. Mm -hmm. Plenty of flour on the dough as well. Mm. And then give that a roll until it's a nice sort of rectangly rectangly square that looks fantastic it doesn't matter what size this is you know it's just about getting it as evenly rolled out as possible yeah and then you can fill it and this is the traditional filling so it's the cinnamon you can put a bit of cardamom in there as well as well if you mm. like but you could put anything a bit of jam or some raisins and stuff like that if you want it's to do just, a chelsea bun it's perfect as it is it's lovely with actually. a cup of tea or coffee or something stronger for the for the eurovision <coughs> well, now, I love eurovision for the filling so excited. in here i've got uh -huh. some softened butter mm -hmm. Some dark brown muscovado sugar and mm. some lemon zest. Mm. And that's the you can taste that. I can lemon. taste that in here, yeah. Mm. So all I'm gonna do is plonk that on there. Oh, and look then at that. Just spread that out. Make sure this is nice and soft. Mm -hmm. But no, are you gonna are you gonna be watching the Eurovision Lorraine? <laughs> oh, do you know <laughs> me? That's a stupid question. <laughs> I'm there, I'm you, the party. You are half Eurovision, aren't you? Mm, you know? Absolutely. So, no, I love it. And yeah. I get different drinks for the different countries and different oh, food and everything. Oh, Eurovision yeah. drinking game. Mm. I'm mm -hmm. gonna come round and look by your bins until you let me in to play that with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Graham Norton. I love his oh, comments. They're so funny. He's brilliant, isn't he? Mm. So you spread that out onto there, and mm -hmm. then with your cinnamon, if you like cinnamon, that is, it. just sprinkle a little bit onto the dough. Mm -hmm. And then as much as you want. And then you can roll that up nice and oh, tightly. Oh, is that how you do so it? So get a really good oh, spiral, really, really, really tight spiral. So yeah, yeah, pull yeah, it yeah. towards you and roll. Now, as you get to the end there, just pinch that end to seal. And then my top tip for this is to cut it with dental floss. You might think John's gone crazy. He's gone mad. I've not, really I'm, not, I'm <laughs> saying get a bit of dental floss. Doesn't matter if it's a bit minty, that's fine. <laughs> and rather than trying to cut through it with a knife, you lose that spiral because you squash it down. So if you oh. get the dental floss, I'm really excited about this. That's get really the dental good. floss, slide it underneath. Yeah. And then just like a cheese wire, mm -hmm. just bring it over the dough and pull through. <gasps> And then you get that really gorgeous spiral. That. Can you see that? That's so Otherwise, because if you do that with a knife, I've not got a knife, but I, I could have shown you yeah. with this. If you do it with a thing, yeah. like an implement, you lose the spiral. Oh, it's so gone, look at the you comparison see, there. You've got yep. that and that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So dental floss is the way forward. And really then clever. All you need to do is just cut those into more little buns mm -hmm. and just place those spiral side up and down into the, into the tray like that. Brilliant. So pack them quite tightly, then they stick together as they cook. And then once they have cooked, as soon as they come out of the oven, yeah. get your icing sugar and some lemon juice. Or you could use orange juice if you prefer orange, whatever you want. Okay. Beat it together to a smooth drizzle. Quite runny. This is a glaze, really. Mm. And then you can just pour that over the top of those buns. And that's Ooh. what keeps them sticky and gorgeous. Oh, look what happened. <laughs> you little gannet. <laughs> I've eaten the whole thing. That was amazing. I left you that wee tiny bit. Thank you. Because I'm so kind. You love me. Mm, absolutely amazing. Do give them a go.